all right hey guys uh welcome back to exit 45 restorations and uh we're gonna start a new project today let me show you what we're gonna do and to start with and we'll go from there all right Okay, so for this project to work, it's, it's going to be done in a few different phases. Uh, the first phase, uh, we need to get uh, the vet up and running. And so that'll be the first thing we're doing. That's what we're going to do today. But, bef but after that, I need to get this frame right here. For This is a short bed frame. So I need to get all this off of the frame so that I can pull that frame in the shop and start stripping it down because I'm going to be stripping the Corvette frame or suspension out and putting it on this frame here uh, as well as the engine and the transmission so for today we're going to start working on the Corvette we're going to get it running uh, we're going to go ahead and get it to drive on its own and drive it into the shop I do not want to have to push this thing in the shop so uh, this is kind of like a, a modified will it run. It's a will it run and drive 50 feet. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> all right, so with all that said, why don't we go over here and see if we can't get this thing started and get it in my shop, all right? Let's try this, huh? I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, so let's, let's see if we can get this thing going. All right, guys. Let's get it opened up and... Uh, Let's see what we got. All right, let's uh, let's bring you guys in. And let you take a look. All right, well here it is. Your Crossfire injection, uh, 350. Don't know much about it. Uh, you can see, a long time ago when I bought this. I came in here and I was messing around with it, uh, trying to get it going. Uh, put a little clicky clack on there, but it just doesn't produce enough uh, pressure for the system. So I've got a stronger pump now, um, so we can pick it up from where I left off. Uh, I don't think there's anything real uh fancy about this it's i think it's just your standard somewhere right around 200 horsepower smogger engine from back in the day uh these corvettes were you know severely underpowered for what you were getting anyways i mean you're buying a sports car and <laughs> you didn't really get uh <clears throat> you didn't get much of a sport car uh and these things are everywhere i mean i just get out there they're everywhere you see them parked in fields and uh but good for me right because uh i got me an engine tranny and suspension for my truck for 600 bucks so i'll i'll take it uh all right guys we're gonna start we're gonna pull the uh, cover off here and then see if this thing will run so and if it does and we are going to drive it right in there and get ready to start the process of stripping this thing down. But first, we got to drive it in there. That's, that's the goal. We want to drive it in there, not push it. Okay, let's get started. easy <laughs> all right so you can see we got uh, a double uh, throttle body set up I guess that's the crossfire setup where he basically have two ports 
uh, intake ports for the uh, fuel and air. So interesting, different for sure. Yeah, everything looks pretty dry rotted and old. But all right, so let's see where I was at. All right, so there's pump that doesn't work. And I've got it hooked up to the, okay, so I've got it set up where I'm fuel in on this one, but it'll also run through this right here, this tube that connects the two, and it should feed this one too. So, I don't know, let's see what happens. All right, so here's the new pump that I have. It's an in-tank pump. So I got my harness. So what I'm gonna have to do is go in the shop and I'm gonna have to extend this so I can get uh, from wherever I set my fuel tank. Uh, I can run the wire all the way down to the battery and, and hook this thing up. But hopefully this will fit inside uh, down into the opening of the gas can. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so let me uh, let me get this these wires extended so I can get down to the battery, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Lots of playing around to get this thing to work, but it'll be worth it. So let me go do this. I'll be right back. Okay, we're moving right along. I got uh, I got this set up. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Long enough reach that I can set me a gas can up on the roof. I'll just run these wires from there down to the battery down here, and uh, and then I got plenty of hose, so shouldn't be a problem getting a hose uh, from from there to the throttle body. So, all right. So the next thing I need to do now is I need to get the battery in here and get it hooked up and make sure I actually have a good battery. So I know if I need to make a run to the store. So let me go get the battery and let's figure that out. All right, we got a battery sitting in here. Uh, but as you can see, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, I don't know, I'll just probably get a vice grips or something, see if I can't get them secured to there somehow. I don't wanna have to go pick up another battery just, just to drive this 50 feet into the shop. <sighs> all right uh my other battery i know is dead and but it's it's a top post too so oh uh, but when i say dead i mean like bad won't take a charge all right all right let me go get a couple vice grips see if i can't get that hooked up all right you can see we're vice gripped on there yeah, I know. That's pretty professional, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get anything here. Nope. Dang it. <sighs> well, that was... I was really hoping that uh, this battery would hold a charge. It looked like it was taking one, but you can't really tell until you put a load on it. <sighs> All right, to the store I go, get me a battery, and see if we can get this thing to crank. All right, be right back. All right, there she be. Got me a side post and a top post I can then have something to hook my uh, fuel pump on. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if she'll turn over. All right, yay. <laughs> now, fuel system. Let's see what we need to do to get the fuel to the uh, throttle bodies. All right, that's next. All right, so really the first thing I need to do here is get the old pump disconnected up here. 
so that does not want to come off so it's on there pretty good I'm gonna go get a, a knife and cut that so I can get that off all right hey at least it turns over so we know that now we just got to get it Let's see if we can get some feel to it all right there we go all righty there's that now I need to get some fuel line from there to the new pump. All right, I don't know if this is gonna fit on there, so let me go see. It's tight, but it's working. All right. Okay, let's get this. This is where we're going to set our gas can for the uh, short trip into the shop. How about we just take it off and not have to cut it? Just take the whole thing off and I don't have to cut it. Okay, so we'll just put this on the inlet. There we go. Okay, let me tighten those clamps down. All right, tighten the clamps down, and we'll get the. I got. I got to see if this will fit in the gas can first. I don't even know. Well, let's see if it'll fit. course not uh, all right just give me a second let me let me see what my options are here as far as getting this thing sitting in some gas and I guess for the short I guess for the short time that this thing's gonna be running could run a, a little bit of hose down into there. And then run this on, just leave this on the outside. I know it's supposed to be a submerged pump. But I literally am only going to run this just to drive this thing into my shop. So, uh... Well... I'm uh, I'm game. I just I don't know what else I can do. I don't have any. I don't know if I have any other real container I can fill with gas to uh, to put this in. So I guess that means I am going to cut this so that I can have a, a piece to go in there. So all right, all right. So I got me a nice clean bucket and put me a hole in the top. All right, we got a homemade fuel tank that I only need to use for 20 minutes, maybe. All right, so we have a tank, albeit homemade, we have a tank. Uh, we're hooked up with our fuel line. I just gotta tighten them up and our electrical is ready to be, ready to be hooked up. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around and tighten up all the, the things that need to be tightened up. Uh, I'm going to get my electrical set up for the battery. And we are moments away from seeing if this thing is going to start. Okay, guys. So I've got my pump in the tank. It's ready to go. All of my lines are tightened up. And I missed one and very important thing. I need air in my tires. So, three of them, three of them are down. 
that one is held air, but the front one up there is also flat. So let me get uh, let me get some air in those, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right. Well, my compressor's filling. Uh, let's check the tranny. All right. There we go. There it goes. There it goes. And let's check the oil. And it's pretty black, but it'll do what I need it to do. It will do what we need. 50 feet. We need 50 feet. Okay. Uh, tank's full. Let's get some air in these tires, and then let's... Uh, it's time to try and get this thing to run. Okay, so all the uh, three tires took air except that one. And uh, it's it's coming through right there on the sidewall. So that tire's gone. So we're going to have to limp it in with one flat tire. All right, let me get some gas in the bucket and let's see if it starts. All right, let's uh, go hot with the cord or the pump and see uh, see if everything works. Oh, that's tight. Come on. Okay, she started up. You can hear it. And looks like all the fuel lines. Oh, we just went under pressure and blew it. Well, I think we flooded it. <laughs> oh, what is the cause of that? Let's go over there and take a look. Let's see. I don't really know where it was coming from. Huh. Um, it doesn't feel like it was coming from there. I think it was coming from here somewhere. Mm -mm. I just want to drive it into the shop. Is that asking too much? Now I got gas everywhere. Dang it. Well, all right, so I got to figure out where that fuel was, was coming from. So I may have to tap the pump on and off just to so I can see exactly where that was spewing out of. It looks like it was holding here. Uh, I don't see any that's dry so I don't know if we blew a, a seal somewhere in one of the uh, throttle bodies uh, I don't know all right could be we're just putting too much pressure to this system I don't exactly know how much psi this system's supposed to have i may have to switch back to the uh although i may be too late i may have blew a seal because that's really what it looks like it's coming from in here somewhere all right let me uh let me tap that pump on again real quick and okay yep it's coming out from in here somewhere. It blew it blew it out in there somewhere. Yep. Too much pressure, I guess. Well, now what? <laughs> well, 
there's gas in it. Let me see if it'll start. Well, we know it runs. <laughs> uh, there's too much, too much fire hazard here for me to be doing anything, anything more right now. I got too much pine straw all around it, uh, and there's a lot of gas. Uh, now I don't know what to do. I mean, I could, I could take this line. Here, let me show you what, I, what I'm thinking about. I'd only be running it off of one throttle body at that point. All right, so you've got this crossover line right here that goes between the two throttle bodies. I could whack it right here and plug straight into there, but go back to my clicky-clack pump. And see if that'll work. Uh, that that other pump is just too much, too much pressure. It blew that out. Or this is just really old and dried up, and it, you know, I don't I don't know what the answer is. Probably a combination. But I could I could go off of there and see if I can get it to to run. If I can get this thing to run, I, that's all I need. Idle it. Just to back it up and drive it into the shop. That's all I'm looking for. So, let me see if I can do that. Let me see if I can cut that and we can try that. Well, alright. So, I've cut into this line. Now we are only operating on this throttle body and hopefully that'll be enough to get it in the shop and I have rehooked up my clicky clack and I am uh, gravity feeding from the gas tank on the roof and that is where we are so now let's put some power to it okay it's doing clicky clack pump things and it looks like we're leaking a little bit right there so let me pull the power and tighten that up okay let's try it again see what we got all right here we are we're running again but we are not leaking all right Let's give it another go. All right. Okay. Encouraging. Should be some fuel left over from the last vehicle, but all right. Let's give it another try. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, 
I am not sure that one throttle body fuel injection is going to supply this thing with the fuel it needs to run or at least stay running it runs we know that I do not want to spend that bunch of money putting another you know repair repair on that fuel injection housing there I'm just going to tear this thing all apart. I'm driving it in the shop to tear it apart. So I really do not want to do that. So i got to figure out some way <sighs> getting enough fuel to it. I mean, it's it's getting fuel. I can see it in the uh, if you can alright, can you let me see. Can you guys see the there you go. So you can see it. So you can so you can see that it's it's spraying fuel. It's just not getting enough, I guess. Ah, let me get in here and work the pedal a little bit. Snorting, spitting and snorting. Come on. Come on, I just need you to run for a little while. Sounds good though, don't it? She is just a fire-breathing dragon. Uh, boy, she's trying. Huh. She's trying to run longer. I can see the uh, fuel injection uh, start, just as she starts to die, I can see it starting to really kick up on the uh, amount of fuel getting in there. It just doesn't look like it's happening in enough time. I don't know if the computer needs to just work on it a little bit. I don't know. Well, <laughs> dang it. All right. Well, I hope I didn't damage anything. Really? <laughs> All right. Well, got the pump off. All right. I got to figure out how to, how to lift the hood. It doesn't, well, that didn't sound like it did anything. Maybe like it broke. Hey. All right. Well, guys, I'm not really sure. Doesn't look like it damaged anything. See if we can keep going and maybe the single. Uh, well guys. The will it run has been answered, I guess. Now we just need to figure out, will it stay running? <laughs> Come on. I just want to drive into the shop. 
I don't know, guys. It's getting frustrating. Just, just needed to run for a little bit. Just need to get it into the shop. 50 feet, guys, all I need. 50 feet. Just not getting enough gas, for sure. Not sure how to feed it more gas and drive it in there. It's I wonder if there's uh, some way I could rig up some sort of a squeeze bottle that I can run a, a hose to the other throttle body. I could manually squeeze some fuel down in there. See if that's enough to get it to get it to uh, drive a little bit. I don't know got to be a way to feed that other side that's probably I mean it's really what we're gonna have to do I gotta figure out a way to get fuel to the other side so I wonder I've got the uh, return line pinched off but I wonder if I could hook this back to this inlet and then any any fuel coming from this would circle back to there. I know it won't go into the injector, but if it's if it's just enough where it's enough that it kind of floods into here a little bit, but it's it's really minor, just enough to be able to throw some more fuel down that choke or down that uh, throttle body. I mean, it could work. It could work. I just don't know how much is coming out of here. I mean, the only way I'd know would be to unhook that and and see. But I'd rather not. I'd rather, if I'm going to do this, I'll just disconnect there and I'll, this, and then I'll just connect from there to there. Then I'll, anything excess from here will push into here, and then that will hopefully just seep down into there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just grasping at straws, really, at this point. Why do they have to come up with this system? Just doesn't seem to make much sense. It's a lot of extra moving parts. I don't know that it really got them anywhere. Clearly it didn't, or they'd still be making this type of system. And I, don't, I don't think they're making this system anymore. All right, I'm going to make me a loop there, back to there, and see if that gets me any more fuel going into the engine. Right now, that's not putting out enough fuel. Like I said, I need 50 feet, guys. I just need to get it running and drive it for 15 feet. That's it. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy, we're, we're grasping here. We're really grasping, so let's... All right, pump's going. Okay, so it is seeping into there. <sighs> yeah, it's going down into the uh, down in there. Let's try and start it. See what it does. You can see we got a little bit of fuel coming through the uh now can we get it to move <laughs> remember what i say guys there's always a way 
always a way. Okay, let me see if it'll take a gear. There it is, there's reverse. Oh, there's drive. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> all right guys i can't believe i got it either uh there's some doubters out there i know i know it <laughs> look at that sitting in the shop you guys have witnessed its final drive so give us a second a moment of silence. This car is going to give itself for my truck. So, all right. Crazy enough, but it worked. Should probably get rid of the uh, gas pump being on. Got it. Didn't think I would, but. There it is. All right. Okay, guys. Um, we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, I've gotten, I've gotten what I wanted to accomplish here accomplished. So the the vet is now safe and sitting in the shop, so I can start disassembling it. Guys, will it run? Yes. Will it drive? Barely. But it did exactly what I needed, and now it's in the shop. So, all right. Okay, guys, I appreciate everybody. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. That was challenging, trying to figure out how can I get enough fuel in this thing. Uh, just, there's always a ways, guy. There's always a way. And we found it. It was, uh, you know, we meandered down that rabbit hole until we found, we found our way out. So, appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, this marks the official beginning of the build of my 63 c10 and uh it will not dominate the channel right away because i got the thunderbird that's still my main uh build and i want to continue to push forward until that's completed but i needed another project running in the shop because 
let's face it guys sometimes i run into some things while i'm working on the thunderbird that take me a little longer uh to deal with and to work through than a week and then it makes it difficult for me to get a video out and i just don't want to have that pressure to be always rushing um or feel like i have to rush so i can get a video out so having a second project running gives me that ability to have some additional content when things are slower on the thunderbird i really wish i would have done this when we were going through the uh uh the body work and all the sanding because you know I, I felt like i put out a lot of videos there that were just really the same thing and i hated that um you guys are really patient with me and i appreciate that but i think this is going to fix that so when i run into that i'm always going to have something i can go to when i run into that kind of problem and so that's why i'm doing this so all right this is the official beginning so i will see you guys on the next video and i appreciate you guys watching this has been a blast all right bye